Hey, in this video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and an initial review of this brand new 27 inch 4K monitor from LG. I chose this monitor because it has a substantial screen size. It's at least 4K, it's flat and not curved. And I didn't want something ultra wide because I wanted uh, the correct aspect ratio for when I screencast and it's also color corrected. The monitor cost 400 pounds from eBuyer. It came within a few days, which is great. And uh, let's get this thing unboxed. Here it is. And uh, my initial impressions on the build are, this is a great looking monitor. I love the thin bezel design. Uh, it's not as stable as I thought it would be, but it could be worse. Um, it has decent maneuverability. It can be tilted as well. And I think, yeah, it can be moved into portrait mode as well. On the back, there are two HDMI ports, a display port, and also a headphone jack. You can also take off this plate. It's a standard size if you want to mount it uh, using your own mount. And there's a nice uh, cable storage solution here at the bottom. Okay, so I've set up the monitor with my MacBook Pro and used it for a few minutes and I am impressed. I can't wait to use this on a daily basis. The picture quality is bright, it's vivid, but it's not in your face. There is one button underneath the screen that toggles four ways and this is how you control the settings for the monitor. It's very intuitive to use and I didn't have to look at any of the instructions. One thing I'll mention is that this monitor doesn't have a built-in speaker so even though there is a setting for volume, this is only for when there's something plugged into the headphone jack on the monitor. It would have been good if there was a speaker inbuilt but it's not a deal breaker. This monitor comes color corrected to 99% and I'm running the monitor with this setting switched on, on sRGB. Because I'm going to be video editing with this monitor, I need to be able to see the colors as true to what they are when I'm both color correcting in post-production and for when exporting for YouTube and print. This was probably one of the most important reasons why I chose this monitor. Secondly, the monitor is IPS rated. In other words, it can be viewed easier from a wide angle. I must say the picture is bright and crisp when viewed at an angle. Now, because I have the new MacBook Pro with USB-C ports, I did look at the 5K model that LG make that has USB-C connectivity, which allows you to plug in um, extra peripherals into the monitor, and you can also charge your laptop through the monitor itself. However, for twice the price than this monitor, I'm not sure it was worth it. And having seen the quality, I'm glad I went with this one. As for other monitors on the LG line, I have this 34 inch ultra wide monitor here. And it's 1080p, it's great for video editing uh, if you're working with a long timeline. However, because it is 1080p, I take this one. They're the exact same price actually. Um, but when you're working on this, everything feels a bit squished vertically. I'd prefer to have a dual monitor set up on this probably. As for LG's competitors, Dell, Asus, Bank, they all have 27 inch 4K monitors available on the market. They're all more expensive. And even though I haven't seen them in person, I'm confident that this monitor will give them a run for their money. The one competitor I left out was Samsung. I actually have a 4K 27 inch model from them and it's terrible to work with. It's not color corrected and so I'm so glad I got this and I'm looking forward to using it. As for the future, LG are working on a 32 inch version of this model which will be insane. However, for the moment I'm happy with this size and perhaps a dual monitor setup would work better anyway and this won't take up much space on the desk too. All in all, my first impressions of this monitor are positive. I'm looking forward to using it. Personally, nothing can come close to the 5K screen on the iMac and I would always prefer to use that for editing and my day-to-day -day use. However, when I am using my MacBook Pro, I will be glad to use this monitor. And if my opinions change, I'll make another video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.